President Weinman, deans, administrative colleagues, honored graduates, and guests. Good afternoon. I am Provost Catherine Gunther Kodat, and I am most pleased to welcome you to this baccalaureate ceremony. Please stand for our national anthem, which will be performed by the Enharmonics. And then please remain standing for the invocation. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets round the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night. Thank you. Now I would like to ask Brother Frank Kelly, Director of the Campus Ministry, to offer the invocation. Seniors, behind you all your memories, ahead of you all your dreams, around you all who love you, within you all you need. So let us pray together. May your light, O God, surround us as we gather here to celebrate with honored members of the class of 2023. We thank you for the many blessings and opportunities you have provided them. We thank you for all those who have taught them, stood by them, sacrificed for them. May your love enfold us and your presence watch over us today and always. Amen. Thank you, Brother Frank. Please be seated. As Merit's Provost, it is my honor and privilege to open today's gatherings with a few remarks, and I promise they will be few. The baccalaureate awards ceremony is a long-standing tradition at Marist, as it is at many institutions of higher education. And when I say long-standing, I am not exaggerating. It's believed that the custom of the baccalaureate ceremony was launched during the 15th century at Oxford University, the oldest university in England and by some accounts, the oldest in the world. Things were quite different then. Higher education was reserved exclusively for men, and it was seen largely as preparatory study for a career in either the law or the church. What today we know as the liberal arts was an interlocked structure of the quadrivium, arithmetic, geometry, astronomy, and music, and the trivium, grammar, logic, rhetoric. Seven subjects all taught in Latin. Something like a core and pathways program maybe with a built-in comprehensive, intensive, and comprehensive language requirement. But the word baccalaureate itself is Latin, derived from baccalaureus, meaning bachelor. Today, attainment of the bachelor's degree is generally understood to signify the successful completion of an academic program, usually four years, that prepares one for direct entry into either the world of work or the world of specialized graduate study. To this day, 
American colleges that grant the bachelor's degree exclusively are known as baccalaureate institutions. Somewhere along the way, though, the word also became associated with the laurel, that aromatic Mediterranean plant which the ancient Greeks made into a symbol of triumph, crowning the winners of athletic, musical, and poetic contests with chaplets fashioned from laurel leaves. And to this day, to be crowned with laurels is to be recognized for significant achievement, one worthy of acclaim. So we are gathered here today in the spirit of acclamation, eager to celebrate the many achievements of our bachelor's degree candidates and to recognize the hard work and dedication that produced them. And it took more than the usual measure of dedication and work for you, members of the class of 2023. Faced with a pandemic and urgent calls for a renewed national commitment to social justice and human rights, you maintained your focus and your drive to learn and to grow, to develop your intellect and character, so as to be able to take your place as enlightened and ethical members of society. Many of you I know found your inspiration in the very challenges that the world threw at you. You leave Marist dedicated to making the world healthier, more just, and more humane. So it's more than fitting then that we take this time to honor your commitment and the achievements that it has nourished. Class of 2023, here's what I hope for you as you embark on the next stage of your life's journey. I hope you will always remember all that you have accomplished here, the highlights and the grand successes, but also the challenges that made those successes so satisfying. Remember what you have learned in your time here about the world and about yourself. And remember that learning never ends. Making a life beyond our beautiful home here on the Hudson is serious business, yes. But it's a mistake to take yourself too seriously. Remember that. Remember to be forgiving of others, certainly, but of yourself as well. Remember to breathe and remember all of us because we will certainly remember you. Marist is your home, and today as you prepare to leave that home, know we will be cheering you on. Remember to stay in touch and let us know how things are going. Congratulations on your achievements, class of 2023. Well done. So I would like to thank President Kevin Weinman for his presence here today and for presenting the awards, which recognize the outstanding achievements of our graduates. President Weinman is assisted by Dr. Emily Saland, Vice President of Strategic Initiatives and Chief of Staff. Each school, as well as the Office for Student Affairs and the Alumni Association, will be honoring students this afternoon. So in the interest of time, and so that we may tell you about each student winner, we refer you to your baccalaureate program where you will find full descriptions of all the awards. So at this time, it is my privilege as Chief Academic Officer of the college to present the following awards for overall excellence. The Valedictorian Award is presented to Jessica Marie Jabe. <laughs> Having dreamed of becoming a red fox since the age of five, Jessica graduates with a double major in communication and history and a minor in African diaspora studies. She served on the boards of St. Jude up till dawn and the Public Relations Student Society of America and completed four internships, including one with the Hudson River Valley Institute. She presented research at the Broadcast Education Association and the National Collegiate Honors Council conferences. As the class of 2023 valedictorian, Jessica will be providing a commencement address at Saturday's commencement ceremony. Congratulations, Jessica. The Salutatorian Award is presented to Greta Stuckey. Greta is a communications major with double concentrations in journalism and sports communication. She has a minor in political science. She has made the Dean's List every semester and been on the MAC All Academic Team. 
On campus, she is a resident assistant, the captain of the women's cross country and track teams, the managing editor of the Marist Circle, a board member of the Ladies Empowering Athletics Program, and a member of the Society of Professional Journalists and the Association of LGBTQ plus journalists. Congratulations, Greta. The General Excellence Award is presented to Victoria Ray. Victoria is a graduating with a business administration major, a concentration in finance, a minor in fashion merchandising, and a paralegal certificate. She served as vice president of Maris Fashion Inc. and a member of Beta Gamma Sigma Honor Society, and worked as an operations management tutor at the Writing Center. Victoria interned with the Brooklyn Nets, furthering her career goal of sports and entertainment law. And this fall, she will attend St. John's University School of Law. Congratulations, Victoria. The Merit Award is presented to Katie Saylor. Katie is an English and psychology double major from Newtown, Connecticut. After transferring to Marist, she embraced the many opportunities and people that have contributed to her success and happiness. She works closely with the athletics department and plans to continue this passion by attaining a master's degree in sports management. Congratulations, Katie. The award for academic distinction is presented to Joseph M. DeRays. Joe finished his undergraduate degree last fall, earning Alpha Sigma Lambda honors while majoring in professional studies with concentrations in organizational communication, management studies, and behavioral studies. In addition to his academic achievements, Joe has been a public relations professional for more than 27 years. His other interests include writing original music, performing with his band, and being an accomplished photographer with numerous exhibitions to his credit. As the highest achieving adult undergraduate, Joe will be delivering a commencement address at the graduate and adult commencement ceremony later today. Congratulations, Joe. Now I would like to introduce Dean Jacqueline Reich, who will present the awards for the School of Communication and the Arts. The Award for Excellence in Communication is presented to Greta Stuckey. Greta is the managing editor of the Marist Circle. During her time at Marist, she has held three journalism internships. She also writes freelance articles for Westchester Magazine and was an inaugural Marist Poll Fellow in the summer of 2022. She is the captain of the Division I women's cross country and track teams, a resident assistant, a board member of Ladies Empowering Athletics Program, a member of the Society of Professional Journalists, and a member of the Association of LGBTQ plus journalists. She has made dean lists every semester and was part of the MAC all academic team for multiple seasons. Congratulations, Greta. The Award for Excellence in Digital Media is presented to Gabrielle Kapalad. Gabrielle will graduate summa cum laude, completing a degree in digital media with a concentration in graphic design and a minor in photography. As a member of the Marist International Student Association, she led the social media page and created the graphics. During her time at Marist, she worked at the Marist Institute of Public Opinion for three years as an interviewer and a coach. Upon graduation, she plans to work in brand design. Congratulations, Gabrielle. The Award for Excellence in Fashion Design is presented to Abigail Bedard. Abigail is an honors student majoring in fashion design with a minor in merchandising. She participated in Marist in Manhattan, interning for Brandon Maxwell, as well as completing a summer internship with Cara Benevenia. 
Additionally, she was the re a recipient of the sophomore and junior Marist Design Scholarships, a semi-finalist for the Council of Fashion Designers of America Swarovski Award, and a 2023 Fashion Scholarship Fund Scholar. Her thesis and collection focus on implementing regenerative systems in the industry. Congratulations, Abigail. The Award for Excellence in Fashion Merchandising is presented to Madison Bremen. <laughs> Madison is a fashion merchandising major and business minor from Marlboro, Massachusetts. While being a member of the Honors Program, she has been on the Dean's List every semester, was a Fashion Scholarship Fund Award winner, and studied abroad in Florence, Italy. She is currently the Student Director of E-Commerce at Emporium and has interned at Macy's, Catch, and Carabinevenia. She is looking forward to starting her career in New York City. Congratulations, Madison. The Award for Excellence in Fine Arts is presented to Elliot Overmere. <laughs> Elliot will graduate with a degree in Fine Arts concentrating in studio art and minors in art history and graphic design. He was selected to participate in the Venice Biennale program in the summer of 2022, where he spent several weeks working on his art in Venice, Italy. He has had his artwork displayed in several exhibitions in the Steel Plant Art Gallery. After graduating, Elliot plans on pursuing a career in fine arts and hopes one day to exhibit his art all around the world. Congratulations, Elliot. The Award for Excellence in Media Studies and Production is presented to Nicholas Fisher. A games and emerging media major with a concentration in design, writing, and culture, and a minor in psychology, Nicholas is a member of the Honors Program and has earned a place on the Dean's List every semester he has been at Marist. Under the guidance of faculty, he has co-authored two book chapters and conducted research on ethics in games. His work was discussed in an article appearing in the Washington Post. After graduating, Nicholas hopes to find his place in the games industry. Congratulations, Nicholas. The Award for Excellence in Music is presented to Wyatt Cannon. Wyatt is a double major in communication and media studies and production with concentrations in public relations and film and television. While he is proud of his accomplishments in his respective majors, his minor in music has been his passion at Marist. As a Fusco music scholar, he participated in various choral ensembles, studied in the private vocal and piano studios, acted as stage manager for two benefit concerts, and served as director of the Enharmonics. Marist All Voice a cappella group. While Wyatt plans to pursue a career in communications, music will remain an integral part of his life. Congratulations, Wyatt. And now I would like to introduce Dean Roger Norton, who will present the awards for the School of Computer Science and Mathematics. Thank you, Dean Reich. The Dr. William Cadden Achievement Award for Excellence in Computer Science is presented to Megan O'Loughlin. <laughs> Megan is from Wayne, New Jersey, and majored in computer science and cybersecurity. While at Marist, she was an ROTC cadet and club lacrosse player. She conducted independent research in quantum application algorithms with the IBM Marist Joint Study and went on to intern with IBM Research in quantum security. While at Marist, she got the unique opportunity to present her research at a series of conferences from Lake George, New York to Columbus, Ohio. After college, she plans to work as a software developer in the aviation field. Congratulations, Megan. The Award for Excellence in Cybersecurity is presented to Gina Roma. Gina is earning a Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity. 
She completed additional coursework in the fields of global studies, information technology, information systems, and computer science. Academic success, success led to inclusion in the National Society of Leadership and Success, Alpha Chi, Omicron Sigma Sigma, Delta Alpha Pi, and the Order of the Sword and Shield, as well as the Marist College Dean's List each semester. She also presented at the New York Celebration of Women in Computing 2023 conference to represent women in technology. Congratulations, Gina. The Award for Excellence in Information Technology and Systems is presented to Miles Manuel Scott. <laughs> Miles will graduate magna cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Information Technology and Systems, completing minors in Business Administration, Data Science and Analytics, and Computer Science. He was recognized as a Dean's List recipient for consecutive semesters and nominated for the National Society of Leadership and Success. Following his tenure at Marist, Miles will be relocating to Washington, D.C. to work with CGI Federal, a multi-billion dollar management consulting company that supports United States national security customers. Congratulations, Miles. The Award for Excellence in Mathematics is presented to Mason Nakamura. Mason is a double major in Applied Mathematics and Data Science and Analytics with a minor in Computer Science. He is part of the Honors Program, the Dean Circle, and Pi Mu Epsilon. He participated in highly competitive research programs in mathematics at Michigan State University and Moravian University. He was also a visiting scholar at the Center for Human Compatible Artificial Intelligence at UC Berkeley. Mason will be a PhD student at UMass Amherst in computer science. Congratulations, Mason. And now Dean Martin Schaffer will present the awards for the School of Liberal Arts. Thank you, Dean Norton. The Award for Excellence in English is presented to Kelly Keenan. <laughs> Kelly is an English major with a literature concentration. She's pursuing her Master's of Arts in Teaching through Marist's five-year MA-BAT program. Kelly studied abroad in Florence during her junior year. She tutors students at Marist and in the City of Poughkeepsie School District. Kelly is a member of the Kappa Delta Pi and Alpha Chi Honor Societies and she was awarded first place nonfiction for her piece, piece in the fall 2022 Mosaic Magazine. Kelly plans to pursue a career in English education. Congratulations, Kelly. <laughs> the Award for Ex Excellence in History is presented to Jessica Jabe. Jessica is graduating with a double major in history and communications and a minor in African diaspora studies. She's a member of the Phi Alpha Theta and Lambda Pi Eta Honor Societies. She presented her research at the National Collegiate Honors Council. The paper was called Dutchess County Landscape Architecture, Nature as a Canvas. She wrote that during her internship at the Hudson River Valley Institute. She served on the board of the St. Jude Up Until Dawn organization, fundraising to defeat childhood cancer. Congratulations, Jessica. <laughs> the Award for Excellence in Philosophy is presented to Adrian DePrio. Adrian is a philosophy and economics double major with minors in cognitive science and data science and analytics. He worked as the editor-in-chief of the Marist Undergraduate Philosophy Journal, and he presented his research at the Mid-Hudson Valley Undergraduate Philosophy Conference. He's a member of the Honors Program, and his honest, honors thesis articulated the philosophy of facial hair, while his senior thesis addressed the philosophy of death. Congratulations, Adrian. The Award for Excellence in Political Science is presented to Jared Jackson. <laughs> J 
Jared is a political science major and earned the paralegal certificate. He's from Holtzville, New York on Long Island. He attended the 2020 New Hampshire presidential primary with the Marist Poll, and he completed a spring attachment course studying democracy in Greece. He's part of the honors program, and he interned with the New York Attorney General's office. After graduation, Jared will be attending law school at Yeshiva University's Cardozo School of Law. Congratulations, Jared. The Dr. Raymond Weiss Award for Excellence in Spanish is presented to Michelle Noldecken. <laughs> Michelle is a Spanish major in the five-year Masters of Arts teaching program with dual certifications in adolescent and special education, and she also has a psychology minor. She's a member of the Alpha Chi, Sigma Alpha Pi, Sigma Delta Pi honor societies. Through the Weiss Language Center, she has presented her research at regional and international conferences, and she served as the Education Chair for Best Buddies, an organization dedicated to individuals with special needs. Congratulations, Michelle. The Thomas Casey Award for Civic Engagement is presented to Navkiran Pander. Now, Karen majored in political science with a minor in global studies, and she completed her paralegal certificate. She worked with nonprofit organizations in the Hudson Valley as an intern and is the program associate for the Center for Civic Engagement and Leadership, where she helped organize two nonprofit information fairs. She also held a cabinet position in student government as the vice president for club affairs. She was vice president for the Marist Model UN, represented the Marist Model UN twice, and Nav Karen hopes to work in government and politics after graduation. Congratulations, Nav Karen. Um, the Marist Institute for Public Opinion Excellence Award is presented to San Santalise Guali Hilario. Santalise is a social work major from Wappingers Falls, New York. Throughout her time working at the Mayor's Poll, she had the opportunity to develop skills in Spanish, problem solving, and other skills associated with the field of social work. The poll also helped equip her for three internships with local nonprofits, including through the Tarver Summer Internship Program. She was also a member of the Mayor's Women's Rugby Team, and she has committed to SUNY Albany to pursue her MSW and aspires to be a licensed social worker. Congratulations, Santalise. And now Dean Will Lamb will present the awards for the School of Management. Thank you, Dean Schaffer. The Award for Academic Excellence in Accounting is presented to Callan Stagg. From Chester, New Jersey, Callan has always had passions for leadership and learning. As an accounting student, he's had the pleasure of being a School of Management student mentor, as well as a Eugene Milan Business Leadership Scholar and a Beta Gamma Sigma inductee. Additionally, he was awarded the School of Management Board of Advisors Scholarship. Callan will start employment with Ernst & Young following the completion of his MS in Professional Accountancy and after pursuing his CPA next fall. Congratulations, Callan. The Pamela J. Harper Most Outstanding Student Award is presented to Lauren Schleif. Lauren has been highly involved in the Marist community, both in and out of the classroom. She's in the honors program and was a member of the dance team, serving as captain in her senior year. She worked in the admissions office as both a tour guide and a greeter. Each semester, she's achieved the dean's list and is ending her time at Marist with summa cum laude standing. Additionally, she's a member of the International Business Honor Society, Beta Gamma Sigma, and the Marketing Honor Society, Alpha Mu Alpha. Congratulations, Lauren. The Greystone Award for Excellence in Finance is presented to Thomas J. Muller. 
Thomas is the 2022-23 Beta Alpha Psi president and the investment club's co-president. After changing his emphasis to finance, he worked diligently to catch up on the curriculum and understand the intricacies of his field. He worked as an accounting and finance tutor and became a Greystone Equity Fund portfolio manager. Thomas serves on the Student Advisory Board for Campus Ministry and has helped plan signature Marist events such as the Giving Tree. Upon graduation, he'll join Wells Fargo as an equity research analyst. Congratulations, Thomas. And now, Dean Alicia Slater will present the awards from the School of Science. Thank you, Dean Lamb. The Glenn Marinelli Award for Excellence in Athletic Training is presented to Sean Brahini. Sean's accomplishments in his major include becoming the Athletic Training Club President, participating in the medical tent at the Boston Marathon, and having research accepted for a presentation at the Eastern Athletic Trainers Association Convention. Other accomplishments include securing an internship with the Sports Medicine Department at Atlantic Health System in Morristown, New Jersey. Sean would like to thank the faculty and all his preceptors for allowing him the opportunity to grow as a provider. Congratulations, Sean. The Barnes & Noble College Bookstores Award for Excellence in Biology is presented to Emily Mazeo. <laughs> Emily is a biology major with a concentration in human biology and minor in business. While at Marist, she served as the president of the Pre-PA Society, chair of the Honor Council of the Epsilon Upsilon Chapter of Sigma Sigma Sigma, a board member of a local nonprofit museum, and a general biology laboratory assistant. Emily has earned certifications as an EMT and phlebotomy technician and will begin work after graduation as a dermatology medical assistant while applying to PA school. Congratulations, Emily. The Dr. Andrew A. Malloy Award for Excellence in Chemistry is presented to Kayla Ali. <laughs> Kayla is, a gradu is graduating with a major in biochemistry and a minor in cognitive science. During her time at Marist, she received support from the J. Richard LaPietra Sponsored Student Research Fund to complete research on sulforaphane in dietary supplements, which she presented at the American Chemical Society Regional Research Symposium. She worked closely with local high school students to create a program that combines STEM and art. She was also a laboratory assistant, teaching assistant, and tutor. Kayla plans to attend graduate school in the field of chemistry. Congratulations, Kayla. The CH Energy Group Award for Excellence in Environmental Science and Policy is presented to Nazra Ngururu. Nasra is an international student from Tanzania, graduating magna cum laude with a BS in environmental science and policy and a minor in chemistry. She conducted research on various aspects of the Hudson Valley with the New York State DEC and Cary Institute of Ecosystem Studies. She is the first chair of the Sustainability Committee under SGA, which worked to incorporate sustainable practices across campus. She is passionate about making the sciences more accessible to young people and plans to get her PhD in climate change adaptation and sustainable development. Congratulations, Nasra. The Johnson & Johnson Clinical Diagnostic Award for Excellence in Medical Technology is presented to Aglaia E. Morlock. Aglaia is graduating with a major in medical technology and has a minor in biology. As part of the honors program, she has completed two different research projects with two members of the Marist faculty. 
She was part of the Emerging Leaders Program, National Society of Leadership and Success, and Marist Ambassadors, for whom she was a tour guide for four years. Aglaia also held positions with the Athletics Department and as a lab assistant for multiple semesters. After taking the American Society for Clinical Pathology licensure exam, she plans to work full-time in a clinical lab as a medical technologist. Congratulations, Aglaia. The Mary Lou Gantert Award for Excellence in Science is presented to Alana Trees. Alana is a biomedical sciences major with minors in chemistry and psychology and is a member of the honors program. Her biology research resulted in numerous poster presentations and upcoming authorship on a publication. She has tutored students in several science courses and worked as a lab assistant for microbiology and general biology labs. In addition to leadership positions in the honor societies Delta, Epsilon, Mu, and Sigma Zeta, she volunteered at COVID-19 vaccination clinics throughout the Hudson Valley and is a nationally certified EMT. She will begin medical school in the fall of 2024. Congratulations, Alana. The Boringer Ingelheim Award for Excellence in Scientific Research is presented to Tyler Wenzel. <laughs> Tyler is a biology major with a chemistry minor and a member of the honors program. He completed five semesters of research at Marist and spent two summers interning at Pfizer. Posters at regional and international meetings have fe featured his work, and he will be co-first author on an upcoming publication investigating protein glycosylation in mammalian cells. He competed as a member of the men's diving team for four years and as captain in his senior year. In the fall, he will pursue a PhD in molecular, cellular, and integrative biosciences at Penn State University. Congratulations, Tyler. And now, Dean Deborah Gatons will announce the awards from the School of Social and Behavioral Sciences. The Andrew Lutakome Kayira Award for Excellence in Criminal Justice is presented to Jordana Nadeo. Jordana studied criminal justice, social work, social justice, and paralegal practices. She was the student government's vice president of safety and security and managed two successful Narcan training sessions. In addition, she is on the board of the Criminal Justice Club where she organized a career fair and a women in criminal justice panel. She will be the teacher's assistant for this summer's pre-college program and in the fall, she will be a full-time employee for the United States Attorney General's Office of the Eastern District. Congratulations, Jordana. The St. Marcelin Champagne Award for Excellence in Education is presented to Mackenzie Good. Mackenzie is a Spanish major earning dual certification in adolescence education and special education. She served on the Board of Teachers of Tomorrow and the Chapter Council of Kappa Kappa Gamma. She presented her research at the Association of Language Teachers of Orange, Ulster, and Dutchess Counties and the International Technology, Education, and Development Conferences. She has volunteered as a tutor mentor at Poughkeepsie City Schools with Marist's Liberty Partnership Program. Next fall, Mackenzie will continue at Marist in the Master of Arts in Teaching Program. Congratulations, Mackenzie. The award for excellence in psychology is presented to Stephanie Melito. Stephanie is a psychology major with minors in criminal justice and social work. She served as president of the psychology club, completed a full-time fellowship in the admissions office, and presented her honors thesis at the Eastern Psychological Association Conference. 
She is a member of the National Society of Leadership and Success, Psi Chi, Alpha Phi Sigma, and Alpha Chi. Graduating summa cum laude, Stephanie will pursue her MS in Human Resource Management at Stony Brook University. Congratulations, Stephanie. The Eileen Taylor Appleby Award for Excellence in Social Work is presented to Jessica Polita. Jessica is a social work major with minors in sociology, psychology, and global studies. Her internships include work at Carriage House Preschool and The Pines at Poughkeepsie Center for Nursing and Rehabilitation. Jessica was a Marist Poll head coach, Liberty Partnership program mentor, and ambassador volunteer. She served three years on the social work Association Board as Secretary, Vice President, and President. Jessica will be attending the MSW program at Sacred Heart University. Congratulations, Jessica. And now Dean Martin Schaffer will present the award for the School of Professional Programs. Thank you, Dean Gatins. The Spirit of Adult Education Award is presented to Ryan Patrick Durham. Ryan is on the leadership team of a New York City-based advertising agency that specializes in live entertainment and nonprofits. He won the pre prestigious Clio Award three times for his work on the international mega-hit Wicked. He has also worked with major NGOs like Meals on Wheels and No Kid Hungry, to drive donor development and he helped raise significant funds during the pandemic. Ryan also guest lectures and writes for several industry and trade publications. Congratulations, Ryan. And now Deborah DiCaprio, Vice President and Dean of Students will announce a special award. Thank you, Dean Chapper. The Hermitage Community Service Award is presented to Rietta Steffen. <laughs> Rietta is an English major with a writing concentration and a minor in psychology. Community service has always been an integral part of her life. While her community service could be found in the hours spent with campus ministry, whether through leading Catholic Connections or on the Student Advisory Board, she feels her greatest achievement is in what campus ministry has given back to her. In each of her roles on campus, she has been granted the opportunity to grow within herself while helping those around her. Rietta could not feel more grateful to have been a part of something bigger than herself and a part of a community that has shaped and aided her in becoming an active member of society. Congratulations, Rietta. And now I'm pleased to introduce Eileen Altabelli from the class of 1982, president of the Marist College Alumni Association, who will present the Alumni Leadership Awards. Thank you, Dean DiCaprio. On behalf of the Marist College Alumni Association, it is my pleasure to welcome the class of 2023 to the rest of the alumni of the Marist community. This afternoon, I am honored to recognize two outstanding young graduates receiving the Alumni Leadership Award. Kumban Yang is graduating with a BA in Political Science, minors. <laughs> minors in Global Studies and African Dis Diaspora Studies and a paralegal certificate. Throughout her time at Marist, she has served as the Vice President of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion as part of student government. She has also been a resident assistant, president of the Muslim Student Association, co-leader of the Mon Afrique Committee, and a member of many other clubs. This has allowed her to connect and work with many different members of the Marist community, from students to faculty and staff. Congratulations, Kumba.
Samuel G. Stein is an American Studies and Philosophy major with a minor in history. Throughout his four years, he has been a committed leader on campus, from rising within admissions to becoming an intern to his dedication to the performing arts. He has spent the majority of his time involved with Marist Theater, serving as vice president and president. He interned with New York Stage and Film, was involved with the Marist Singers on nearly every production, and has worked with student activities as their lighting technician. Congratulations, Samuel. Thank you, all of you, for your presentations, and congratulations once again to all of our award winners. So I would like to thank the members of the Senior Legacy Committee. Catherine Suzanne Kremen, Chair. Sarah O'Keefe, Senior Class President. Carter Thomas Apgar. Victoria Grace Kremen, Jenna Maureen Farley, Carolina Gomez, Sarah L. Hazelton, and Brooke Lee Shaman. Catherine Kremen will now present the senior class gift to President Wyman on behalf of the committee. Thank you, Dr. Kodat. Hi everyone, um, it is my pleasure to be up here representing the class of 2023 as we join in a very long-standing tradition here at Maris, the Senior La Class Legacy Campaign. As a part of this tradition, the graduating senior class make our first gifts back to the institution that has provided us with so many invaluable opportunities and experiences. Um, our Maris experiences have undoubtedly been a little unconventional, and it's really hard to believe that our four years on this campus are already ending, um, but we're really excited to be joining a community of over 50,000 alumni that have once stood in our shoes. The generosity of the Maris alumni, as well as their families and the faculty and staff here, have really supported us throughout our entire four years at Maris, and we are so proud to be following in their footsteps of giving and to make our first gifts back to the college. Um, it's really our hope that these gifts will allow the college in helping to provide those excellent experiences and facilities and opportunities and scholarships to all of the future Red Foxes coming in. I think our class really understands how important these are for providing everything that the incoming classes really need. And we're, again, so proud to be joining this alumni community who maintain the relationships to Maris with such generous gifts. And with all of that being said, it is my pleasure to present President Weinman with the senior class gift for 2023. Thank you, class of 2023, for this generous gift. And again, congratulations to all of our award recipients. You have brought honor to your families, your peers, your college, and most importantly, to yourselves. We will now hear a vocal selection performed by the Enharmonics. And 
Can you feel me now? That I'm vulnerable in oh so many ways. Oh, and I'll never change. But oh, I couldn't stop it. Tried to figure it out. But everything kept moving. The noise got too loud. With everyone around me saying, You should be so happy now. Oh, if you keep reaching out, then I'll keep. Thank you for that beautiful performance. Merit's light is in you, and I know you will leave that light on. Thank you again. The platform party will now recess to the Marist song, which is recorded by the Marist band, Marist singers, and Marist orchestra. We're grateful to these musicians and to the music department for making this recording possible. Special thanks to President Wyman and Emily Salland and to all of you for being here today. Thank you. <laughs>